Don't trip. Don't trip. Don't trip. Don't even trip. We got you. All right. I got a question. Let me hear it. My girl be hanging out with her ex. Uh huh. Should I be cool with that or do I fight her about it? <laughs> <laughs> Don't even trip. We got you. Fight her about that, it, bro. That's what he said, bro. Fight, fight. her about it. But um, it depends. Honestly, what they doing and um, how much how much you trust your girl, in my opinion. That's that's what I think. I think that if they're it, uh, hanging out every day, that, that joint's weird. But like, if they're hanging out, I, I need to trust my girl enough that they ain't going to do nothing. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think, huh? I think you sound dumb as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> You're just asking to get cheated on, bro. I, huh? You don't ask to get cheated on? Yes, you do. But being stupid like that. <laughs> what the hell? I'm asking 101 questions. 101? I'm asking 101 questions. <laughs> what? Where are y'all going? Y'all playing 20 questions. No, no, no. Look, look, look. Right. Don't do it. No. No, no, no. Fighter. Don't fight her. Fight her Do ass. not fight her. Ask her 101 questions. All right. Maybe we just have different mindsets. Because I don't just hang out with people to f- have sex. It, okay, okay. That's not what I'm saying. I only hang out with people to have sex. I'm saying... <laughs> <laughs> you can just want to hang out with somebody. <laughs> Let it go, bro. She just chill. All right, for, All right, go ahead. You date somebody, bro. Uh-huh. And then you break up with them. And then you talk to someone else, and you're like, "Yeah, I dated this person." Uh huh. Like they're gonna, they're gonna have that person on their radar. But like, they're friends. It doesn't matter if it ended on good terms, Brad. You shouldn't be hanging out with your ex in a relationship. Okay, I. You can I, hang out with your ex when you're when you're single, but when you're in a relationship, you need to move on. Like friends or not. There's a difference between trusting, I'm telling you. There's a difference between trusting your girl and just being completely blind to the situation. All right, next question. My girl said she's getting bored of doing the same thing in bed every night. How do I spice it up? Don't trip. Thank you. We got you. First of all, you got to ask her what she want to do. Like, she can't just say all that and not have any ideas. You know, she obviously, if she's saying that, she has something in mind that she wants you to try. Like, you know, maybe a little booty stuff, maybe a little, get some <laughs> toys, you know what I'm talking about. But you got to, you got to be ready for the worst. So you saying she got to take the lead? I don't think she has to take the lead. She might want her, she might be taking the lead and she might want to get handcuffed to the bed. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, she might, you take the lead type. I think you just have to ask her, figure out what she's talking about. And um, honestly, try something, bro. Do, do a front flip on it. And, like... I don't know. Backflip into the, into the, into the, into the you know. Into the, take a risk. Take a risk. Yeah, I think the best way to go about it is just have a conversation about it. Or try something funny. Just grab her hair and yank it. Don't do that. Oh. Don't do that. I feel like. <laughs> don't do that. Oh. She might try to, she might <laughs> she try to she press charges on your head. But no, if you've been dating a girl for a while, I feel like you always got to search for ways. To spice it up. And yeah, I think it really just starts with you just got to. Talk, talk about it. That's true. Just talk about it. Talk is cheap, though. It's all about that action. You never know. They can be fucking kinky. They can be into all that shit, but you would never know because you just stick to the same two positions. And what might be good for you ain't always good for her. Like, like it might be, you might be solid just doing the same thing, but she, I mean, you finna get your nut regardless. Right. If if she's bored, mm, let's rewind it. Okay, go ahead. If she's a hoe. And y'all just hooking up, you shouldn't give a fuck. Honestly. As get long your, as you get, get yours. yours and get going. <laughs> get yours and get going. I'm not playing with you. Get in and get out. Unless you care about the female. Or unless you guys have a have a contract written down for friends with benefits and you sign that hoe with a date on it, then you can then you can consider changing up the game a little bit. They don't get your best. They don't. They don't deserve it. <laughs> <laughs> so really, bruh, if if you're dating her. Have the conversation about it. If she's just a a, a piece, a, a stop along the way, then that's not your responsibility. Cause <laughs> oh, well, she gets some toys for that. <laughs> for real. All right, here we go. Uh, I'm into this girl, but she only likes bad boys. But I'm a really nice guy. How should I handle it? Mm, the classic nice guy finishes last. But don't trip. We got you, fool. Nice guys finish last all the time. So, 
I'm I not saying I'm not saying you're gonna end up with a good girl, but you're gonna finish last because you're going to be waiting for her to find you. So technically, you're in last place. Like, even if she comes to you and you wife her up eventually, you were the last person she decided to get with. <laughs> so you're finishing last. But you can either stick with that and wait for wifey, or you could or you could do your thing. And uh, So is it a proven fact? Nice guys finish last. Oh, yes. 100,000 billion percent. Get her flowers. Get her chocolates. She always going to go to the dude who makes her feel some type of way. You know what I'm saying? Cause like that emotional stuff, it gets in their head, and they want that same feeling that like, oh, he likes me. I got his approval from a guy that didn't want it before. Type. Don't wait around. Don't wait around because there is a girl who has already been through it or decided what she wanted, and she's ready for you to come in last place. She's ready for the loser. Exactly. You can come through. Be exactly. her loser. All don't right? don't wait around for a bad bitch to realize that she needs a, a dude to treat her right. On oh, me. Don't wait around for that. One, there's plenty of bad girls out there. Oh, my mama. Plenty. Oh, my mama. Yeah, sir. Don't change yourself trying to get with a bad bitch. No, you got to know yourself worse. Unless, <laughs> unless, unless you really want to get with her, then you could play her game. It's not going to work out. It's probably be a little toxic. A little toxic. Yeah. That's not how you start something good. Hey, man. They never said they were trying to start something good. They said they were trying to. Yeah. What was the question again? I forget. <laughs> I forget. <laughs> All right. The next question is I'm taking this girl out for our first date. What should I do? Don't trip. We got you. Uh depends on if it's a girl, future wifey, or a whore. If it's a girl, <laughs> <laughs> whoa. If it's a girl, you take her out, do something nice. Uh maybe get get her some dinner, something like that. Okay. If it's classic. future wifey, you gotta you gotta step outside the box. You gotta take her to the carnival. You gotta take her. Take her golfing. Some, some she'll remember regardless. Mm -hmm. First date, like, mm -hmm. tell your kids about. If it's a female <laughs> that you know you guys are trying to just have, female or male, I don't know what you're talking about, but female or male that you know you're just trying to have intercourse with, just take her to the crib, be straightforward. Y'all don't need to do all that extra stuff, all that cuddling and all that joint. I just get straight to it if I know First, it. First, there's no, you don't take a girl like that on a date. That's true. She comes to the crib and you put on Netflix. Five minutes in. <laughs> she knows what she's there for. Okay. Okay. If she's potential wifey, yeah, like you said, out of the box. Uh -huh. Like, learn a recipe, cook for or cook for. Her. Light some candles, get some wine. Light some candles. Or get some juice if you're underage. <laughs> Put some music on. I don't know. Think of something creative. Yeah. Like. Like he said, makes makes you stand out. If you're just trying to get to know her type, like you don't really know her like that yet, go to the movies. Don't go to the movies. Yeah, bro. You wanna know why? Why? Cause you don't gotta talk to her the whole time. That's what, but you how are you supposed to get to know her if you're not talking to her? Oh uh, shit. First date, one, it depends on what type of girl she is. Uh huh. Right? Uh huh. We're talking you don't know her or you know her and you want to wife her uh -huh. or she's just a, a thought. If it's a thought, Netflix what is it? and chill. Da -da -da. <laughs> Netflix and chill. Exactly. Everybody know about that one. Exactly. I mean, I would always take a girl to the movies. I would always take a girl to maybe do something, get some ice cream or something, and then we'd chill in the car talk it out. To be honest, I only took horns to the movies. So it did. Okay. Yeah. All right. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> question is... <clears throat> Question is, nothing's wrong with my relationship. I just want to go back to the streets. How do I break up with this girl? <laughs> Don't trip. We got you. First off, you should be honest and straight up. Maybe not say go back to the streets, but just say you don't want a relationship. But <laughs> she going to see you go back to the streets and be hurt. So <laughs> what do you advise? There's nothing wrong with admitting you're not ready to commit. I feel like that happens a lot. Uh-huh. So, I mean, that's what you could say. Don't say you want to go fuck around. What you got to do is best for you. Best, Honestly, it's probably best for the relationship in the mm -hmm. long run if you're not ready for all that. So the like, longer you drag it on, the deeper she's going to get into it and you're just going to be miserable and you'll probably end up cheating on her, which is not good. Not good at all. We don't We don't advise We that. don't. We don't condone cheating. Exactly. Black, black men don't cheat. Yeah. So, at all. So, don't, worry about don't do that shit. But, <laughs> but yeah, bro, just be honest. Just be like, yo, like, I'm not feeling this. Or just be like, you know, I'm not ready to commit to a relationship. Because if you want to be in the streets, that's exactly what, what what's the problem. Ooh. So, Ooh, gotcha. All right. Another question for you. My girl wants to take a break. 
What do you think about that? I hate breaks, personally. Personally? Wait, but don't trip. We got, got you. you. I hate breaks. Because it doesn't do anything. I think I think a break is a reason for someone to go go back to the streets temporarily because they're not feeling it. But they know this one person going to hold it down regardless. So they want that person on a reserve type. Exactly. Exactly. But what does that do for the relationship? I think... I think it does. It's not always a bad thing. Honestly, would you rather have taken a break and y'all not together, and they get it out, and y'all get back together and just continue what you had? Like, I feel like that's better for the relationship. I don't think a lot of no. relationships can do that, but no, I feel like if you can't sit down and figure it out together, then it's not gonna work out. If you can't communicate and figure out the, what the problem is, oh, together, wow. okay. Okay. It's not going to work out. If you have to leave the relationship, fuck around to realize that you like that person, then you don't really like them. But that's your that's your typical that's a typical uh like 90 sitcom. You don't know what you got till it's gone. And once you, it's gone, I feel like people definitely fall harder in love once it's gone. Bro, like you got to be strong. <laughs> you got to be strong. If she's asking you for a break, she's questioning the relationship. She's questioning. She's quest questioning her feelings for you. Mm -hmm. Your feelings for her, or just the whole relationship in general. Okay, what about a break in order to try to fix something that did happen? Say, say y'all, um, say she did something you didn't like, and you just don't approve of it. You're not mad at her. You just don't like that she did it, and you need a break to figure out how you're feeling without yeah. her involved in it. Mm -hmm. Like you can't have her her input. You can't be talking to her every day. Yeah. Like you need time for that. Yeah. What about that? So, I, I mean, personally, I would call it something different. I would mm -hmm. just be like, yo, like, I need some space. Okay. Like, give me a few days to think about it uh -huh. type of thing. Like, I need my own time for myself. You wouldn't say you wouldn't say break. You'd say nah. you space. No, no, no. Because, like I said, I don't believe in breaks. Like, they don't, they don't do anything unless you're taking that time for yourself uh -huh. to figure out your relationship. Not, let me go fuck with somebody else to figure out my relationship. That's toxic, bro. The way you just said that, I'm taking time for myself, right? To figure out what I want. Yes. If I'm figuring out what I want, I need to test stuff to figure out what I want. And I'm, I'm, I'm in a restaurant. <laughs> I'm trying a cheeseburger, pizza, and they got a sample of ice cream. I don't know what I want, the cheeseburger or the pizza, right? <laughs> so I, just need, I need sweets too. <laughs> no, I'm not going to get both. I need, to, I need to taste what I want to see what I want. You know what I'm saying? Okay, bro, and that's what I'm saying your problem is from the jump. Uh -huh. You shouldn't be in a relationship if you don't know what you want. You knew what you want before the break. You got to taste something to realize, or you know, you don't have to. I'm saying this is like a scenario. I feel like it shouldn't be a, a, a killer for it. Everybody knows what happens on a break. Everybody. I don't know what happens on a break. You're telling me what's happening on a break. I'm You're going chilling. to change. You're going to. Try a cheeseburger when you've been fucking with pizza the whole time. But the trying doesn't have to be a person. Trying to be alone could be maybe you like that better. Okay. But then you realize you don't want to be alone because you tried it out and now you want to be with the person. Is that the same thing? You tried it. Yeah. I, okay. I know what you're saying. Right. That's better than saying like, why don't you just break up with them? And then get back together? Yeah. I feel like that's the same. I feel like people need to stop using the term. Let's take a break. Let's take a break. All right. Respectable.